Sandy Springs, Georgia, the largest suburb in the Atlanta metro area is in high demand. Many people want to live there for so many reasons. The businesses, the economy there, the restaurants, the things that do, easy access to downtown, easy access to the freeways. However, there are some reasons why people want to get the hell out of there. They don't want to go in there. And that's what we're talking about in this video. Let's begin. <laughs> What is up, guys? My name is Anthony Laborde. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in the Atlanta metro area. If you've been to my channel before, thank you very much. If it's your first time, welcome. This is where I make videos about living, working, playing here in the Atlanta metro area. And as much as I love making these videos and I have so much fun doing it, I love meeting you, meeting your friends and family, learning about their housing needs, getting them here to Atlanta, educating them on our great city and getting them moved here on the way. But as I mentioned, in this video, we're talking about Sandy Springs. Now, you can find plenty of stuff out there of reasons why to move to Sandy Springs, but in this video, I'm giving you the reasons why not to move to Sandy Springs. Now, before you jump to conclusions, I love buying and selling homes. I've sold multiple homes. I've bought multiple homes in Sandy Springs. I personally love the area, but this is the feedback that I get from my clients, people that live there, people that have bought there, people that have left there. This is some of the negative feedback as to why they're leaving that's what we're going to talk about. Let's begin. So the first item on the list and the one that I hear the most about is the cost of living there. It is freaking expensive to live in Sandy Springs. To give you an idea, the median home price here in Atlanta right now at the end of February 2023 is $375,000. The median home price in Sandy Springs, just north of Atlanta, is $585,000. That is $200,000 higher than the median home price of literally like 15 minutes south of the suburb. It's freaking expensive there. Give you an idea, right now we have about 50 homes for sale on the market, and actually that's really low, uh, in Sandy Springs. They start at around 700,000 and go up to $7 million. So a large portion of those homes for sale are a million and above. That's substantially higher than the rest of the Atlanta metro area. The other piece that I hear so many of my clients gripe about are the taxes, and that's the sales tax as well as the property tax. Every county in the state of Georgia has a 4% sales tax immediately. That's your baseline. That's from the state. Well, then each county can put an additional sales tax on top of that or special tax or whatever they want to. Here in Cobb County, where I live, we have a 6% total. So you have 4% from the state, 2% from the county. That's it. In Fulton County, you have 4% from the state, 3% from the county, and some BS special sales tax of 0.75%, which puts you at 7.75% sales tax the highest in the state of Georgia. On top of that, you have your property taxes. This one really gets you because the property tax is based on the assessed value of your home. So if you're living in an area like Sandy Springs where your median home price is so much higher than the rest of the Atlanta metro area, guess whose property tax is gonna be astronomically high? On top of, it's already high because Fulton County is the highest taxed county in the state. The median property tax for homes in the state of Georgia is $1,346 per year. It breaks down to is 0.83% of a property's assessed fair market value. Let's move over to Fulton County. In Fulton County, the median property tax is $2,733. That's almost $1,400 extra a year that you're paying. That's 1.08% of your median home value. And again, as I was saying, if you have a super expensive house, if you're $7 million home, which is for sale right now in Sandy Springs, you can imagine what your property tax is gonna be. It's astronomically high. So you are a single person. If you're a college graduate, if you're retiring, if you're on a budget, Sandy Springs is not the place for you because it is freaking expensive to live there. You're gonna get beat up on the property taxes, on your sales tax and your median home prices by living there in Sandy Springs. Another gripe that I hear from many of my clients is that it's very young 
professional crowd there. And what I mean by that is if you're looking to purchase a home with a yard, uh, start a family, live there, grow your family, have a big yard for your dogs and your kids and everything, Sandy Springs may not be the place for you because it's a majority uh, townhomes, condos, and apartment complexes, which is very different than Alpharetta, Roswell, Marietta, Kennesaw, some of these other surrounding suburbs where a majority of the people who live there are homeowners. They own their home. So it's usually 60, 70, sometimes 80% are homeowners when another 20, 30% are renters. That's not the case in Sandy Springs. It's almost equal, if not more, renters in Sandy Springs than there are homeowners. Again, a lot of townhomes, a lot of condos, a lot of apartment complex, very young, hip, professional crowd there because there's a lot of corporations that uh, are headquartered there. UPS is headquartered there, Mercedes-Benz, there's four or five of the tech companies, world headquarters right there in Sandy Springs. A lot of professionals being moved out of that area. So a lot of renters, not so much homeowners. So if you're retiring, if you're um, looking to start a family, Sandy Springs may not be the place for you. You may want to look at some of the other suburbs around there. But if you're young, you're hip, you're professional, you're looking to have fun, nightlife, restaurants, things to do, Sandy Springs is your place. Number three on the list, and this is actually my personal biggest gripe about Sandy Springs. You hear it all the time. And it's the traffic there. It is a mess. In defense of the Department of Transportation, they have just finished a little uh, corner right there that was causing just major havoc for years and years. They finally cleaned that up. It's still a freaking mess. There's so many people in that area. It's right there at that intersection of two of the biggest freeways coming together, going into directions that everybody's going, and it's a cluster. You know what I mean? It's a cluster right there in that area. That traffic is a mess. I don't know that it's ever going to get finished. Uh, they say it is. Everybody says it's getting better. I drive this city every single day, all day long. It's not getting better. Four on the list and reasons why people avoid Sandy Springs. This is probably going to step on some toes, but it's the schools in the area. Now, don't jump to conclusions. I'm not saying their schools are bad by any means. Keep in mind, though, I live in Cobb County. Cobb County has some of the very best schools in the entire state located in East Cobb, West Cobb, great, great schools here. And typically you see home values correlate with great schools. For instance, in East Cobb, Walker, Wheeler, uh, Lassiter, these are great high schools. You get real estate around those areas and the price starts going up and up and up. So you would think where there's a higher priced home, they're going to have great schools there and not the case in Sandy Springs. Now, there's two public high schools there, Riverwood and North Springs High School. Uh, again, both of them not bad by any means, but they're just average. When you look at greatschools.org, they're sixes out of tens. Now, I have clients that call me that they don't want their kids going to anything less than an eight. So we go to East Cobb, we go to Buford, we go to some of these other areas where they have great schools that are highly ranked high graduation rates, high test scores, high academics, all of that. Those are eights, nines, and tens. You would think in Sandy Springs with all of that money, all of that expense, all of those taxes, those property values, all of that stuff, they'd have fantastic schools in there. And it's just not the case. These two schools are sixes out of tens, nothing special, nothing to stand out. I'm a true believer in education starts at home. So the schools, they're okay, but educate your kids at school, teach them your morals, values, study habits, disciplines, all at home. It really doesn't matter what school they go to. I guess it does in a little way, but it's reality. Those two high schools are six out of tens. Now, however, the private schools in Sandy Springs. Now, this is where you see the correlation of the higher property values. So people with higher income. Many times they gravitate towards private schools because they can afford it. They're more expensive. There's 11 private schools in Sandy Springs. Two public high schools, 11 private schools. You can see where that's going. So guys, this video was a little bit shorter than ones in the past um, because there's not a whole lot of horrible things about Sandy Springs. It really is a great area if you're single, if you're young, if you're uh, into the nightlife, into the restaurants, into that active scene, if you're a professional and you work at some of these big corporations that are located there, if you want to rent versus own, if you don't have kids in school, it's a fantastic area. My clients, for a majority of them, they are families. They are looking to get established. They're looking for great schools. They're looking for less traffic and less headaches in there. And so Sandy Springs may not be for them. However, I do have many young professionals that call me about that. So it's a great area, but these are the reasons why I hear from my clients that they are leaving the area, but there's so many great surrounding suburbs literally within minutes. This is the great thing about Atlanta is that sometimes you don't even know you're going from one suburb to the other. You can cross into another one and immediately you're in a different county 
So you go into Cobb County, your taxes are lower, your property values are lower, your schools are greater. Uh, there's no traffic over there compared to Sandy Springs. So give me a call. This is where I'm going with this. Give me a call. I can help you find the place of your dreams. We'll sit down, we'll have a talk. We'll understand your criteria, your wants, your desires, your long-term goals, and we'll find the right place for you based on all of that. It may be Sandy Springs. It may not be Sandy Springs, but I can help you. So guys, that's a wrap on this video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned a little bit about the great suburb of Sandy Springs, the pros and cons, why you would live there or why you would avoid that. Again, my name is Anthony Laborde. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in the Atlanta metro area. I would love to hear from you, your friends, your family about their needs getting moved here, and I'd love to help them get moved here. So until the next video, you guys have a great day.